spelling so we get that right sure. at least. Uh, my name is Captain Michael Sack, S-A-C-K. I'm the commander of Crimes Against Persons and Property. Okay, uh, this afternoon, about 4 p.m., first district officers conducted a car stop at the 3800 block of Merrimack. As soon as the vehicle stopped, the driver of the vehicle exited the car, grabbed his waistband, and began to run for the parked car. The officer who was driving the marked vehicle got out of his car and concerned that the suspect was armed with a weapon while he might have been holding his side. The officer then drew his side on. He gave chase to the suspect on foot. They ran just a short distance, a few yards. By the time they made it to the sidewalk, the officer caught up to the suspect. At that time, the officer grabbed a hold of the suspect's shirt tail uh, and they fell into a bush. They then began to grapple there on the sidewalk. And it was during that time that the officer's weapon went off. Uh, the suspect was struck in the left flank. He's been taken to a local hospital where he's currently in serious but stable condition. Uh, the officer was also injured during this uh, grappling, this wrestling. On the sidewalk, he's got an injury to his right arm. It's minor in nature and he's already been treated. Uh, the, one of the occupants of the vehicle, a female, uh, slid over to the driver's seat and drove away. So we're currently in the process of looking for uh, that woman and that vehicle. And we'll get a hold of them, we'll interview her and uh, see what she might be able to share with us. Do you have a, a description of her or, and or the vehicle that we could pass on? And just a, a white Chevy Impala with a tinted windows and a tent cover. So, it's okay. African American female driving a white Chevy Impala with tinted windows. Yes, sir. That's what we got. Do you guys have a plate in there? No, there's a temporary tag in the window. Now, in the struggle, I mean, would you characterize this as an accidental discharge that the the officer was holding his gun while he was struggling, or was it in his his uh, holster when it went off? Well, he drew his his firearm uh, because uh, the suspect immediately leaving the vehicle, grabbing his side. Uh, which is consistent with what a lot of guys do. Uh, when you've got a, a firearm that's not secured in the holster, it'll fall out of your waistband. So when he did that, uh, that was an indication to the officer that the suspect might be on him. So he drew his weapon as soon as he got out of the car. But it's during the rustling, this grappling uh, on the sidewalk that the weapon went off. Accidentally. It, it looks like that's the case, right. Did the, you find a gun on the suspect or in the car, or did you find any weapons? Right, I can't say we did find two firearms, two handguns here at the scene. Uh, apparently came from the vehicle and the suspect. Uh, right now we're working on trying to identify who might have, where they might have come from, and where, whether they're stolen or not. Uh, do we know if the suspect himself actually had a gun in his waistband or the officer thought he had a gun? Uh, he may have uh, at some point during this whole incident. Do we need no... Two weapons? Yes, the two handguns were recovered.